Hey everybody, AZ Plant Reviews here. Today I'm talking about another one that looks good in the summer, aka the prickly pear. This one in particular is just an Engelman prickly pear, Sonoran Desert prickly pear, Arizona prickly pear. A lot of people have different names for it. It's got a lot of ripe, good looking fruits on it right now. Look at that. So this one right here actually just happened to grow from a seed, like a bird pooped there, and then it turned into a plant, and this is it three years later, looking good. And those fruits are yummy. I already ate some. Maybe I'll do a video showing how to properly eat them sometime, but there's other videos like that that already exist. You know, they're low water, but you give them more water and they just grow faster. They offer food and pollen in like the best ways for out of like all Sonoran desert plants except for like the saguaros. You know, they bloom brilliant yellow throughout April and May. Some of them are orange, but this one in particular was yellow. Um, again, April, May, and they make these fruits that start ripening right now around July. And the birds love to eat the fruits. People love to eat the fruits. People love to make jellies and jams and all kinds of fun things out of the fruit. It's awesome. The spikes on these ones, on this particular variety, are these kind of long hair-like ones, but that's not the only type. You don't want to get anywhere near those little microscopic fuzzy looking ones in there, because those are the glochids, and those will give you infinite splinters, and they will be extremely painful to get out. So be careful when you're handling one. And look at that, the fruits also are covered in those glochids. So you have to be extra careful whenever you're harvesting the fruit, and especially if you're trying to eat them, to not get any of those glochids anywhere near your mouth. <laughs> but otherwise, they're awesome. They're like a desert classic. They're super low maintenance. Makes your whole place look like it belongs in the Sonoran Desert, as it should. You know, you can save water and have something really cool looking in your yard. Just don't touch it. Don't put it somewhere where people are going to be walking. Luckily, this one happened to sprout in a place that is not a walkway, so we kept it. <laughs> so, if you like the desert look, which I hope you do in order to save water and fit in with our natural ecosystem, the Engelman prickly pear, Arizona prickly pear, whatever you want to call it, is going to get a 9 out of 10. Good content. If it didn't have those glow kids, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.